Welcome back friend, welcome to Shomu's Biology. I am Shuman Bhattacharji, uh, founder of Shomu's Biology. I want to talk about the aftermath of CSIR NET exam 2016. It's all about the CSIR NET June 2016 exam that held on 19th June 2016. So I am going to talk about three things uh, today. First is what I think about the question paper, uh, the degree whether it's a tough or, or like easy. We talk about the expected cutoff, the predicted cutoff as well as we will talk about the answer key and where to find the answer key for all the booklets and check your answers so that you get the idea of where, the, where you actually stand. So let us uh, let's start with the first thing that what I think about the question paper. In a sense of the question paper if I divide it into three different parts group A, B and C or you can say part A, B, C. The part A paper is, is easier, it is easier compared to the, to, I mean like for last two or three exams the part A is becoming kind of habituated uh, in most of the cases and actually it is easier for the students we, we prepare because we, we focus on group A. So if you focus on group A a little bit it will be easier for you to solve. Uh, now if I go to group B uh, and group C in both these cases, one thing, uh, one change is observable throughout uh, compared to the last year and last few question papers. Uh, compared to the December question paper for the first thing I can tell it is a little twisted compared to the December paper. You can say in general sense yeah, it is a little difficult compared to the December paper. December paper was easier. So we have a very high cutoff of 60% uh, approximately for, for JRF which is a huge cutoff and 52% approximately I think for LS. But uh, this year's paper is not that uh, linear, it is kind of a uh, twisted in little aspect. But one thing is really observable for the comparing last uh, few years paper and right now the papers uh, that we are doing here is that uh, the amount uh, earlier what happened in CSI and NET it depends on only of your concept and only of your idea of applying the knowledge and uh, there is a percentage of remembering things and recalling things. So two different zones are there and people good with both of them obviously will qualify any exam in the world. But people good with uh, the conceptual thing and applying thing works well for CSI and NET exam for last uh, like uh, if you go back one year or one and a half years ago. But if you look at the recent two papers and as we go on I think from the future paper as well this is going to happen like they the percentage required for recalling and remembering things are growing high. So they are giving you questions where you need to know some name of proteins and topics, some name of certain things, mechanism of things, you need to remember things and recalling things is getting more and more in the questions compared to just knowing the concept and applying. So that part is increasing a little bit. So if you are preparing with any coaching or any other strategy, try to include this idea in the, in the next time preparation that you need to work on each and every part and work on a very tiny little part of the details as well because they are asking question from a little detailed part. If I give you one example it will be clear to you like, uh, like first things uh, if you look at uh, the question paper from the for the for the plant physiology they ask question from the plant hormones uh, every single paper every single year. Earlier uh, one or two years back they asked questions related to the overall activity of the hormones and even uh, the functions of the hormones and the experimental type question related to hormones the what hormone will change the germination and the growth of the plant and something like that. But now they are asking question from the mechanism and pathway of hormone activity directly. So it's they are going deeper, they are doing a little deep, going little deep but the problem with this is you don't know in which topic they are digging deep. That's the issue, that's the issue most of the people are facing. That's why you think that it's a kind of a tough paper. If you think it's a tough paper, the reason is this. Because you, pro you prepared in a shallow fashion, they're going deep in some topics. Now it's difficult to predict the topic they're going to dig deep. So for this type of preparation, you'll need to invest some more time and also you need to recall a, a lot because there are so many topics together. So I think it's making it difficult. Another thing I think uh, they make this question a little twisted because of the last year's cutoff because many many people just go against them why so much cutoff life science 60 percent none of the other uh, topics or none of the other uh, subjects have this high cutoff. So that's why they think like yeah it's not good idea to just uh, seeing 60 percent cutoff so just put it down so they make a little a little uh, difficult question compared to that. Now some may feel uh, it's more than easy compared to last year but in the overall sense I am telling you like that is the idea. Now uh, if we come to the cutoff, the expected cutoff of this uh, question paper, I am giving you the cutoff of a general category for this paper for GRF as well as LS. 
Now you can calculate the SC, ST or OBC category based on simply uh, by deducting some percentage from there. Uh, for example, the general category GRF uh, ranging for 106 to 110, so 106 to 110, that is the range uh, where the cutoff will be for the GRF in general uh, category. For uh, the general LS category, the link will be like 94 to 96, something like that, 90, 94 to 96 percent. That is the idea, 40, uh, 94 to 96 means 47 percent to 48 percent and in case of uh, the GRF, it is becoming 53 percent to 56 percent. That is the idea I am going to give you uh, about the cutoff, like it is a prediction as well. And another thing about how do you know where you stand uh, in your marks of this year's June 2016 net, you can check Shomu's biology's uh, answer key. Uh, the answer key link is provided in the description as well as probably in the video somewhere and I also you can just uh, visit www.shamusbiology.com in the first page the welcome page you will find the button says the answer key you can click that button and see the answer key there. Uh, I try to put an answer key on my own I, I try to compile as much I can but uh, I am not saying that it is 100% correct definitely not uh, it's, uh, like, it's, 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 uh, it, it's going to give you an idea about uh, what, what you are standing or where you are exactly standing. Al although it is uh, it's maintained in a way so just maximum of these questions are correct but again wait for the actual original key uh, because that is the key that use, uh, they use for the evaluation. But the thing is you know uh, this key give you an idea like if you score let us say you are opting for a GRF you are getting a score of 90 using this key. In that case you can say it is kind of a borderline so I will tell you to to cross check that with the original key when it comes out like if you score let us say are coming 40 in that case you know there is no chance that you are going to qualify for GRF or something in that case it is it's, it means like it is the time to prepare for the next net so be concentrated and start preparation it is not like disheartened do not get disheartened about that but if you are getting a borderline mass like you are applying for GRF you are getting 100 according to this uh, uh, answer key that means you are very close. So it does not mean you are getting exactly 100, it means you, you can get 110, maybe some questions are wrong written here. So do not don't think of anything like that. If you get borderline score, it is better idea to hold on and check for the actual key, it will be pu published in uh, one and a half to two months. Just wait for them. But wait means you start preparation, like it is not bad to prepare because anyway if you, if you qualify in it, that will be a very good thing but after that you need to appear for like, interviews and exams. In that case also you need to apply your knowledge. So keep preparing it, do not stop preparation, it is not a bad thing, you know you need to again fill the form as well for the upcoming net because they are not going to declare the result before the form fill up, they will declare it after the form fill up so that you do not know what marks you are going to get, it is a strategy they play. So all these things keep doing, uh, the, 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 or you can just take this uh, answer key, you can also tell you with some other answer key from other institutes as well uh, to get a better idea about what, what we are looking for. So that in a sense I can tell you is, uh, is about this year's net, I uh, hope you prepared well. If you want to prepare uh, along with us, along with Shomu's biology, if you want us to guide you and uh, help you get CSI net, in that case you can join our online coaching or classroom coaching. If you are from Kolkata, you have the option for classroom coaching. If you are from any other place of India, you can join the online coaching. The, both the links are provided here in the video as well as in the description. Just click on there, you can join. Now remember the, the date for registration is going very, very fast and it is filling very fast as well because we will start from the July because we, we want maximum exposure of 6 months. So we will start from July. So if you want to join, uh, just join really fast. Decide first what you want to do and then join. So that is all about uh, this discussion. I hope this video helps you out. So peace out. Thank you for watching.